keep it sacred. Keep your life sacred. I used to be someone who was somewhat of a Snapchat addict. Whenever something interesting was happening, I would be the first guy to pull out my phone and take a snap. I would be at the party taking snaps. I would be going to the train station taking snaps. Basically anywhere taking snaps. And I used to get a great amount of joy out of doing this. People used to come up to me and say, Hey bro, saw your Snapchat story from last night. It was great. Or oh, I saw what you were doing on Snapchat. Or oh, I saw what you posted on Instagram. Your Facebook post was hilarious. I used to get a good feeling out of this. However, for some reason, I started not enjoying it as much. I started thinking about different ways of living life. So I did something radical. I decided to completely cut off Snapchat. So I barely use Snapchat. And I don't post much on Facebook in regards to my social life. I kept it sacred. And what happened is, what I realized is, you learn to enjoy the moments more. You learn to appreciate the moments you have with other people when you're not concerned with broadcasting it to other people online. So I had a friend come down, an old friend, and we hung out. We, we spent two days together doing some cool shit. And not once did I take a picture for Instagram. Not once did I take a Snapchat. And what happened is those moments were kept between me and him. Those moments are kept sacred between us. And if we took pictures, those pictures were for us or our close friends. You don't have to broadcast everything online. You don't have to broadcast everything to people that you probably don't even know too well. Because most of these people don't really give a shit for one. It's all pretentious. Facebook, social media in general, it's all about how good can I look? How good can I make your, my life look? Everybody's concerned with making their life look good that they're actually forgetting to enjoy their life. They're forgetting to make their experience good. Their experience is a shell. They're too focused on the camera angles, too focused on the Photoshop. Keep it sacred. Think about it. If you travel, let's say you travel the world, you go to Europe, you go to Fiji, you go travel around America, you have all these pictures, all these memories. Do you really want to be concerned with how you look on Snapchat or how you look on Instagram or Facebook? Or do you want to appreciate those places while you're there or appreciate those places with the people you're with? Keep the experiences and then perhaps when you get home, share the pictures with your close relatives or your good friends over a beer or something. Keep it sacred. You don't have to broadcast it all. You don't have to whore yourself out to everyone. There is more value in the moment in experiencing it fully than trying to impress other people. And the byproduct of keeping it sacred, keeping off these social media platforms is that you no longer get addicted to that dopamine fix. Because each time you get an alert on your phone, each time you get a Facebook like, each time you get an Instagram like, each time you get someone viewing your Snapchat, your brain sends a bit of dopamine to you. Your brain rewards you. It thinks it's accomplished something. When in reality it's accomplished nothing. Because all these things do nothing for you. Use that time to enjoy the moment with the people you love. Use that time to do something productive. Keep your memory sacred. Just...